This is my new CNC machine, or at least it will be hopefully soon. I started building it over a year ago as a winter project and never finished it. It's currently just the frame and uh, how about I bring it up to speed by showing some of the footage I did back in early 2023. I decided to build the frame of the CNC machine out of these aluminium extrusions as they're quite strong and also uh, easily adjustable by using T-slot nuts. Uh, the way these attach together is I drill a hole through one of the beams and then by attaching some bolts into the end of another beam uh, and then sliding on the pre-drilled uh, beam uh, so that the holes line up with where I wanted to attach to I can simply tighten those bolts and it fixes the two pieces together at a 90 degree angle which is nice and strong. This is essentially how all of the frame is attached together but currently I'm just uh, building the legs which will support the CNC machine uh, and it's got some small uh, threaded feet at the bottom of each leg so that I can adjust each of the four legs so the machine doesn't rock back and forth. It's basically like a large uh, Meccano kit or an IKEA flat pack furniture but uh, all custom designed and probably slightly stronger than any IKEA furniture. The main beams for the actual CNC part of the machine, uh, not just the legs, uh, are built from 8080 extrusions which are really heavy duty but means the machine will be nice and rigid and these simply slot onto the uh, legs like so and they quite easily support my weight as you can tell from the beginning of this video. I then got a bunch more extrusions to build the uh, rest of the uh, base for the CNC machine. Uh, these pieces in the middle will be the guide rails for the uh, Y axis, so the build plate will move back and forth along these centre beams. And then I can just slot one last beam on to uh, hold them in position from both ends. Then I had to cut some 10mm uh, thick aluminium plates which will fix the gantry to the bed of the um, CNC machine. These needed to have countersunk holes so that the bolts were flush with the plate once they were installed uh, because once this is bolted to the underside of the vertical mounts for the gantry um, it needs to sit flat when it's raised up. So all of the bolts fit flush with the aluminium plate. Then I mounted one of these either side and attached some uh, other plates which will support the gantry from underneath and simply bolted the gantry in like that. So now we have the majority of the frame built. Uh, I want to start working on the x-axis which is the bit I'm sitting on now uh, but first I need to reinforce it. So this is the x-axis gantry. Um, it's quite a large aluminium extrusion and it's fixed to the base of the CNC machine uh, to improve rigidity. With a lot of CNC routers, including my old one, uh, the gantry would move back and forth and then the x-axis would move along the gantry. Whereas with this, it's fixed to the frame and then the uh, build uh, bed, the platform, will move back and forth through here, almost like a bed slinger printer. And the reason for that is I want this gantry to be as rigid as possible. Uh, so I originally designed it with just a single 8080 extrusion support here, uh, but then I actually added this extrusion at the back to hopefully strengthen it. Currently these aren't attached together, so this is the same strength as uh, just one single support, and there's a surprising amount of flex in that. I can probably move that by about two, one to two millimetres, which when it go, goes down to the actual cutting bit, it's quite a bit of flex. Um, I'm not sure the cutting bit will put that much force through the gantry, but I want this thing to be as rigid as possible. So what we need to do is join these two together, which will hopefully increase the rigidity. I just realized that makes a funny noise. Uh, we'll hopefully increase the rigidity of the gantry and it'll get rid of all of that flex. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get this back up vertically because it's quite heavy and I've got to feed the nuts through these slots so I might actually take the nuts and bolts out which clamp it down 
then lift it vertically and then slide them back in. <laughs> right, now I should just be able to lift this gantry up. Actually, I might just have to pivot it because it's quite heavy. Let it flat. And then I can slot the nuts in here and line up the bolts. Okay, so all the gantry support bolts that attach them to the rear uh, vertical beams are in and tight and hopefully makes it a bit more rigid. It shakes a bit on the ground because I haven't actually leveled the feet yet, but in terms of relative to the build platform, doesn't seem to flex much at all, which is much better. Now let's, uh, I guess, get started on the x-axis, now that that's all tightened down. For the axes of the CNC, I've gone with these huge linear rails. Uh, they're probably a bit overkill for what I need, but um, when I ordered them online, they didn't look as big, uh, or when I had them in my actual original design. But anyway, doesn't matter about that because we need this thing to be strong. So I'm going to attach this to the gantry up here using, how many bolts is that? That's quite a few bolts. Luckily, I have a whole bag of them. So let's get this attached. I don't really know the easiest way to do this. I think I've just got to fiddle around for a bit. <laughs> Probably slide the nuts on and line up with the bolts is the easiest way. I think I may need to order some more nuts. There's a lot more nuts per rail on this thing than I expected when I bought it, when I ordered the rails. Right, so that's one of the linear rails done. Runs pretty well. Uh, I've only just tightened these a little bit, uh, just to keep it still. So let's mount the other one, which will go right there. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> more bolts, more nuts, more tightening. So now I've got both uh, top and bottom linear rails mounted, and I've also got the linear bearings on the rails. They run really nice. Um, now we've got to get the plate, which attaches all these together and will eventually hold the Z axis. So uh, that means using my old CNC router again. So I haven't actually explained why I'm building this new CNC machine, as I already have a CNC router, so why do I need another one? Well, I bought my old CNC router about six, seven years ago when I graduated from university. Uh, I saved up all my summer job money and bought this machine. Uh, it cost about £2,000 and it was basically a nightmare from the get-go. I've got a whole video um, about it on my main channel, which I'll link below, which goes into the details of everything that went wrong with it. Uh, but the guy who eventually assembled it for me uh, didn't use any thread lock on any bolts. So occasionally things come loose or fall out or bolts fall out and this ruins basically what I'm cutting and it's every time a bolt falls out I thread lock it put it back in and then something else will come out so it's just unreliable and just a pain to use. Having said that it has made over 20 of my other YouTube projects possible um, so I can't really complain. It has, has done me well. You know, I've built my trebuchets, my electric bikes, all sorts of different aircraft things out of carbon fiber and everything. So it's done me well, but I think it's just time for an upgrade. Fortunately, nothing went wrong whilst I was cutting this huge plate, uh, which is, uh, I think it's nearly 40, 400 millimeters long and nearly 200 millimeters wide and 10 millimeters thick. So fortunately nothing went wrong. Uh, with this and it worked first try. But I did try and reduce the amount of cutting time on the CNC machine uh, by not drilling uh, the holes out completely. I would just sort of drill them halfway and then that means later on I have to go back and fully drill out the holes on the drill press uh, which saved time with the unreliable CNC machine 
uh, cost me a bit more time because I had to drill them out myself. Uh, but you know, drill bits are a lot cheaper than CNC end mills, so it worked out pretty well. So this should mount straight to the uh, linear rails with some M6 bolts. Uh, I did just realize though, I don't have the right length bolts. Uh, these are the bolts I actually ordered for the linear rails. I thought they'd fit these too, but they're about two or three millimeters too long. So I can temporarily put them in for now and then we'll have to wait for some new bolts in the post. At least the holes seem to line up, at least with the first few bolts. Uh, I'll probably put in two bolts per bearing because I don't need to put them all in because I'm going to take them all out again anyway. But it will just keep everything straight. Runs pretty well. It's uh, not as smooth as I'd hoped, but I think that's just because the bearings need to be so precise. They, um, they're really like tight against the rails. But you know, that'll move nice and easy with a good lead screw on it. Uh, I can't actually check how strong it is just yet because obviously these, <laughs> these bolts don't tighten down all the way because they're too long. Right, next step is to get the lead screw mounted, which I'm going to mount on top here, which will drive this axis back and forth. So let's go grab that. So this is the lead screw. It's absolutely huge. Uh, it's 25 millimeters in diameter, which again, I think is way overkill, but it should mean the machine is just super rigid. So I'm gonna mount that on the top here and then that will drive this nut back and forth and move the axis. Just need to get the bearings and also cut some mounting plates to attach these to the extrusions. So this plate should match up with the holes on this bearing block here and sit just underneath it just to raise it up a bit uh, because the holes in the top of this block don't line up with the slots in the, um, in the extrusions. So I need to bolt this to that, which hopefully I can use, the, yep. So the bearing block is now attached to this uh, small plate, which is basically just an adapter so that it fits the extrusion. Um, it's not tightened down just yet because I need to add the bearing block to the side, because uh, otherwise the weight of this sags down. And I don't really want to put too much load on it currently. So uh, all I need to do is take this bearing block and another plate, to support the other side. So the bearing block slides on the end and it just needs to be raised up by this other plate uh, like so. And I can add the bolts in through the top. One bolt. Two bolts. So now I just need to add these slot nuts into the extrusion and we can bolt it all down. I'm not going to do it too tight or thread lock it just yet because I'm not sure what position I want it along here. Uh, but luckily with these extrusions, it's easily adjustable for uh, when I'm ready. Because basically the large stepper motor that drives this axis will mount on the end here with another extra plate. Uh, and it depends how long the shaft is on the stepper motor. So I'm gonna end this part one of the CNC build here. Uh, it's getting quite late today, getting quite cold in the garage, and I'm feeling a bit sick. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we made some good progress. Uh, finished off reinforcing the gantry uh, part of the frame. Uh, got the X plate, X axis plate mounted. Uh, although, need to wait for the shorter bolts. Uh, I do need to attach this to the plate, but there's no point really doing that until I've got this properly fixed down anyway. Uh, I also need to work on the mount for the stepper motor on the side, which will then drive this axis back and forth. But uh, yeah, it's going together pretty well. Uh, I'll try and get the next part out in probably the next two weeks or so, realistically, uh, depending on how quickly bolts are delivered and all that stuff. So uh, thank you very much for watching. If you want to keep following my CNC build, then please click subscribe to the Tim Station YouTube channel, which is, by the way, my second channel. My real name's Tom Stanton. 
if you haven't followed my main channel. Uh, yeah, I need a warm cup of tea. I'm tired. <laughs> See you in the next video.